Hey guys, and welcome back to my garden. Uh, you guys, I am home and it feels so good. Uh, so I'm having my second cup of coffee. It was an amazing weekend. I mean, if you did not see the footage of the Tamiami International Orchid Festival, I am telling you, it is worth watching. It was the most amazing show. It was the most amazing weekend. Um, I just can't say enough, you know? I mean, I met so many amazing people and I hope that everyone that went to go visit me, um, you know, that came from Trinidad, that came from Grand Cayman, that came from Turks and Caicos, that came from, you know, other, you know, other places, Puerto Rico, the Bahamas. I hope you guys all made it safe. Um, safe travels to you all. Um, some of you guys were leaving back today, tomorrow, so just uh, make it home safe. And it was a pleasure meeting you. I mean, I can't believe that, um, you know, you guys came, you guys said hi, you know, we chatted, you know, it just felt so awesome. I mean, I just had the most spectacular weekend. And really to me, um, that just makes this whole experience a hundred times better. Um, so yeah, you guys, I am exhausted. <laughs> Yesterday night, I just came home and I was so happy to put my feet up. Um, but I have to tell you, I got a good night's rest um, and I am back in my garden. I have so much to do. Uh, I am also gonna share uh, in this video everything that I got at the show. Uh, so stay tuned towards the end, I will do my haul. In the meantime, um, I have not been out here uh, since the last time that we, uh, that I made a video, since the last time that we spoke. So let's see what is going on in my garden. Um, let's see, starting with this one. Uh, these foul spikes are growing, uh, look at that. Um, I'm happy to know that everyone has um, spikes on their fowls. You guys all uh, just share with me what's going on in your garden and I am very, very happy that you guys are getting some spikes. Now, I'm standing here and I am looking at my Cat Leia section and I see some color. So I am gonna walk over there. You know my morning walks are spontaneous. I talk about all different types of stuff. So just bear with me and I have a flower and I have buds. Oh my goodness. Oh, but they don't look so good. But look. Look at these buds on my Catlea. Oh my goodness. And this is a BLC Teiko Kamaki Volcano Empress. Oh man, but these buds don't look so nice. But look, I've got three buds there. Hopefully something is going on. Oh my gosh. You guys, <laughs> this is brand new and I'm throwing a party right now. Oh my goodness. Let's see what you are. So look at that, it's growing a little bit crooked. But, hmm, doesn't smell yet. And I've got another bud right there. This was not here the last time I checked and it snuck up on me. And this is so exciting. Um, I don't have a tag for it, but I'm sure that she's bloomed before. So I'm sure somewhere I will um, have a tag Oh my goodness, this is so exciting. Hello there. My cat Leia section is coming back to life. Let's see here. Any other surprises? Any other surprises? No, but this is very exciting. So this is why I love doing my morning walks with you guys because I get all of these surprises. Yay, and she's so, so beautiful. So I do wanna capture some pictures of her after my video. I'll probably put some up on Instagram. Um, with the name, so stay tuned for that. And over here, let's see if there's anything else happening except for those buds. So my Sarah Paling Hopki Mom, which is normally a, a very vigorous bloomer, has not done much. And look at some foul spikes. I mean, I got to the point, you guys, where I didn't even look over here because I was so disappointed in this area. But I really need to get over and, and, and fertilize. So I'm just gonna grab the tag for this one here because this is the one that's um, blooming over there. Yeah, it's a Denjobium Sherry Alba. So the, one, the spike that I had on my, over there on one of my oak trees, which I'm gonna walk over there and check on them, um, I got a tag for it. So if it's, if it's bloomed, I can identify it. 
Um, so anyway, you guys, so it, it just, oh my goodness, I'm in such a good mood. I can't believe I have a, a, a Cattleya blooming in my Cattleya section. How exciting. Um, so uh, yeah, yeah, like you saw this weekend, um, there was so much positive so positivity, so much good energy inside that place uh, that, checking on those spikes, um, it was just wonderful to be there. I mean, as a vendor, um, we do get exhausted. I mean, I get, I was exhausted um, because, because I was like, you know, talking most of the time, which was amazing. But um, it was, it was so much fun. Uh, so this is right here. You see that spike right there? It's probably hard to see because of it's green like the, like the trees. But uh, this is my spike to my Dendrobium Sherry Alba. And here's her tag. There you go. She's a very pretty pink, uh, pink dendrobium. It doesn't have fragrant, but um, she's good. I got it at H&R uh, probably two years ago, and I got it for a really good deal. I mean, it was sorry, it was um, it was that that Redland show where it was raining and they were just giving everything away on the last day, which was you guys. Just checking out. I'm just gonna talk while I while I walk. I mean, come 12 p.m., 1 p.m. yesterday, Sunday, I mean, the deals were incredible. Um, Brendron put everything 50% off, I think the whole entire day of Sunday. And then Kawamoto um, also had amazing deals. And the lines, I mean, by 4 p.m., they were completely sold out. And their booth was huge. I mean, they took over, which I'm so happy that um that Tad got some renanthros from them. I think he got some renanthros from them. Um, you know, many of the many of you guys that went to go visit me um saw them and got some renanthros from them. I mean, they had them at thirty five dollars each, and they were gorgeous. And he told me in the video that I deleted, of course. Um, he told me that he took seven hundred um to the show, and he sold five hundred on. Friday and he was sold out. I mean, no, he took, he sold 500 Friday. So whatever he had on Saturday was what he had left. And by Sunday morning, they were all gone. So it's crazy. I mean, you know, they take so much inventory to these shows. They take so many, so many, oh my gosh, so many different orchids. Um, I did uh, look around for all the orchids that you guys suggested. I was only able to get one, um, which was uh, that, that um golly that uh blc um love um sheldon has it and he had it he can locate it for you so i'll message you directly because I, I don't know exactly the name um all the other ones you guys are very hard to find but i was on the search on the hunt for them and i see some little nubs on all of my dendrobium nobils there you go so um so yeah so those um orchids that you guys requested i need to just get rid of all this all these um these fronds um you know i was on the hunt so i'll message you um directly and let you know um where you can probably find them um michael the one that you asked for mm, not, none of the growers i asked um really really um knew where, where you could get that so so sorry about that <clears throat> but um you know i'll be in boca in a few weeks so i'll ask around uh, here is my foul tree, just looking spectacular. Everything is is growing and looking looking pretty. I mean, the spikes are. I have to come out here and and do a little bit of of blooming. Look at that! Look at those fouls right there. And then let me check on <laughs> on my pretty pinky novils. They have opened. So how cute are you? Look at how pretty. Let me put my coffee down so I can move it around. Let's see. Wow. So look at these flowers. I mean, look at how gorgeous. Oh my gosh, and they smell so good. So these, is, these are the Dendrobium Nobles, which I have attached upside down. And look at all of the new growths. I mean, they are happy as can be. And I probably attached these on here a few months ago. And they are so happy. See, I hate these things. And look at that. 
So I'm very happy to be in my garden again. I mean, I love doing shows, but there's nothing like just being out here and, you know, and just spending time with my, with my beautiful babies. Oh my goodness, she's so cute. So those are my nobles right there. All right. All right, so before I move on to my haul, I do want to um, tell you guys really, really quick, our temperatures are dropping um, in, in South Florida uh, tomorrow. Uh, we should be down to 44 degrees on Tuesday, and you guys are all messaging me and asking me what I'm going to do. Um, so uh, nothing out here that's mounted, obviously, is going to go anywhere. Um, we're only having it for one day, so it's happened before. My orchids are fine. I'm not sure about my beautiful cat layout out there, what's going to happen. So... Um, hopefully nothing happens. Hopefully they don't they don't wither up. But um, whatever's on my trees uh, is gonna stay put. Whatever I have under my terrace, whatever I have um, that has a spike. Um, if I have any vandas with spikes, if I have anything with spikes um, or anything with flowers, I am gonna bring them inside one of my bathrooms. Um, everything else, one night. I mean, I will pray for the best, but I don't have enough room to bring everything in. So. Uh, hopefully they'll be fine, uh, but whatever's in spike, whatever's in flower, whatever um, I feel it's gonna be, it's gonna be harmed uh, with the cold spell that we're gonna have one night is coming in. Uh, so I hope that that answers some questions. And for you guys further north, um, I know that Todd is putting everything in this polytunnel and kind of bringing everything inside. So just you know, try to protect them as best you can. Um, and I would bring them indoors. Uh, that's what I've heard. So. Uh, good luck <laughs> and now uh, let me move on so, to um, now that the Tamiami orchid show is over and and you guys um, were able to enjoy all that we do have the Boca show coming up and that's gonna be uh, February 7th I'm sorry February 8th and 9th uh, and that's gonna be in the Boca in um, at the safe school center I don't know exactly the address but I will put a flyer so that um, you guys will go and if you have the opportunity to go and um, and just and just uh, enjoy that show too. That's also a good one. It's not um, it's not as big as Tamiami, but it's a um, it has great vendors and it's it's gonna be fun. So I will be at the Boca show uh, February eighth and 9th. and I will of course bring you all of the footage. Um, so I wanted to I got some information at the shows, and I wanted to just share with you guys. I got new information on my gramophylums. Now Mac orchids um, told me that I do not need to water them at all. Um, he was like, if you're watering them, you're watering them too much. So for those of you guys that have the gramophylums, um, this is from Mac Orchids. And mine are looking okay. I mean, they're not looking the best like they normally normally have. I think I have been overwatering them, uh, which is what's going on with all this, all this rotting. Um, so he says that gramophylums, because they have such humongous pseudobulbs, and yeah, like I said, my, my gramophylums are not looking so great. I mean, I can't keep them inside the pot. I have to figure out what I'm going to do with all of them. Uh, maybe relocate them and put them somewhere. So if you're watering the gramophylums, he says that you're overwatering them. So they take very little water. And when you do water, do it just the roots. Nothing straight to the top because that will rot them. So that is a tip from them. And I just wanted to share uh, with you guys uh, that information. I'm sure you, you know, it's sure something you guys know, but I just wanted to uh, just make sure that... Um, I let you guys uh, know that. Anyway, so let me um, share with you guys what I got. I was very lucky. Um, you guys spoil me too much. I got um, I got a lot of orchids this weekend, um, and they were all gifts. So let me sh first start with this one right here. So this beautiful girl. I mean, look at how amazing. So this was given to me by Nelson. Um, he is in my my day two video. He is the sweetest I love him um, I met Nelson um, probably about almost a year ago and I met him because he's a he's a subscriber and you know he follows me on Instagram he's a sweetheart um, and I see him all the time at orchid shows uh, so he was a darling and bought this for me and surprised me because of course you guys like I said um, you know what's up with you guys making me cry so he brought this to me and I love it uh, this is the tag. Uh, this is a Brassavola Glauca, and I'm probably not saying that right. The, the Dibiana Fiddler's Green, and 
that's the tag. So uh, this one is fragrant at night. Uh, last night when I was um, unloading my car, I was able to smell it for the first time. It smells a little bit like lemon. Um, it does smell amazing and it's uh, nighttime. So very excited about this one. I am not sure what I'm gonna do with her yet. Maybe, maybe just keep her potted because she's so pretty and smells so fragrant. I don't want her all the way back there like on a palm. So thank you, Nelson, so much. This was awesome. I love it. All right. So um, I also got uh, from a friend of mine that lives in Tampa. I got this beautiful dendrobium. She brought this to me. So I will be adding this gorgeous dendrobium to one of my palms for sure. I actually have um, similar ones mounted. So she'll be joining the party out on my palms. And this is a dendrobium some rock candy. I'm not sure if this is a K or an LE, but this is the dendrobium right over here that she brought me. And I think it's gorgeous. Look at that. All right, the third one that I got um, that is in flower is this, well, no, I actually have other ones in flower, but um, this beautiful cat Leia um, is from Little Miss Orchid Diva. She is so, so cute. She is adorable, I love her. And her tag, this is a tag right here. It's an RLC Golf Green Hair Pig. So this is from Mini Orchid Diva. Mini Orchid Diva, you're the best. I mean, this is beautiful, I love it. Thank you, thank you so, so much. I was dying to get this one. Um, she is fragrant and she's beautiful. Um, now she got this from and I need to lay her down because she won't stay sitting in her pot. So I'm going to repot her soon. So she got this one from Water Orchids. So that is the RLC Golf Green Hair Pig. That is so, so cute. Let me just put it nicely there. All right. So then these two beautiful um plants right here are from todd this is at stanhopia that he brought me over and i cannot wait to learn how to take care of it and um and just you know have it in my collection i love it thank you todd it has two beautiful new growths in here uh so uh i'm sure that todd will give me the best advice on what to do with my new addition. I am so thankful. Todd, thank you so much. Uh, this one he brought to me also, which is a desert rose. And I don't know how he knew that I was dying to get one of these, uh, but he brought this over to me from his collection. And oh my goodness, I'm so excited about this one. I love desert rose. They look so beautiful when I see them at shows. And now I get to own one and it's so pretty. Uh, so Todd, you know, I need your advice. So let me know exactly what I have to do to these two so I can, um, I can make them grow and make you proud <laughs> and have them here in my collection. Um, this one right over here is from Blanca Acosta. So I'm not sure what the, what the actual name for this one is, but um, this is uh, the Nun Orchid. Uh, that um, she grows in her garden and it's always beautiful. I always admire it I always told her I would love to have one like that and and she brought it over from Tampa or from from St. Pete Which is where she's from um, So Blanca Acosta, you're the best you guys are both the best I mean if you guys did not see the video um, of when all the youtubers were together talking uh, Take a look. I mean, I love these guys Todd Blanca, Maria Young. I mean, we were just hanging out, talking. It was it was such an such an amazing thing. Um, and you guys are awesome. If you guys do not um, follow them or watch their videos, they are amazing. Um, Blanca, Costa, Todd, and of course Maria Young. Um, you guys are awesome. So uh, go and subscribe to them. So this is from, like I said, from Blanca and from Todd. And I am excited. You guys, Blanca, let me know also what I need to do. Do I leave it in this pot? Do I water? How often? You know, just let me know. <laughs> All right, so <clears throat> this one here is gorgeous. 
Uh, this is from Linda, and Linda is a sweetheart. She is um, from Ritter's, and look at the flower on this beautiful orchid. Uh, so this is like a mokra with something else. Let me show you the tag. I mean, I saw this one on day one, and I just love the different colors on it. Look at how pretty. I think it's going to look amazing, amazing mounted on my palms. I just have to figure out where I'm going to put it. Uh, because she is so so pretty and I love it I love 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 it so thank you Linda very very much I love my new orchid let me show you the tag it's an Aranthera Bertha Braga so if you like this Aranthera Bertha Braga you know where to find it it's from Ritter's and it's gorgeous Alrighty, and I believe that she had those for like, uh, like 20, 25, something like that. Um, this beauty is also from Linda. I've got myself another Renanthera, and I am so, so happy to add it. And I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it um, over there mounted with my other Renanthera. So I'm very excited about that. I mean, it's a big plant. Look at this, this is a big one, oops. Sorry, doing this with one hand is, is crazy. So look at how big it is. I mean, look at that. <laughs> and look at the spikes. I love it. Oh my gosh, I'm in heaven. So let me show you the tag for this one. Now this one, uh, Linda had it for about 30 or 35 and it is huge. So this is a Renanthera hybrid and it's, it's this is a task doing this with one hand. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> so this is a Renanthera James story. So that is a tag right there. And Linda from Ritter's has them. Um, Linda, you're the best. I mean, look at that. That's beautiful. And I hope you guys were able to take advantage of that discount um, that Delinda was offering uh, on the third day. <clears throat> I mean, she just... Uh, surprised me and said oh you know people come over here and say that they come uh because they watch your channel i'll give them an extra discount so i thought that was super cool all right this one over here is from my friend smiley look at this beauty i mean you guys must know that i love these vandas i love uh these uh vandacious type orchids so this is from smiley all right so this is a tag it's a rink and stylus retusa alba and it is beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. And this is from Smiley. So she has this one for 45 if you guys are interested. And that's it. Beautiful. I love all of my new orchids. I love all of them. And <clears throat> just adds a little bit more pressure, you know, when you guys give me orchids. Because now I really, 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 really have to keep them alive forever. I mean, to me, these are so special. Even more special than the ones that I buy because it's, it, they come from you. Um, so I cannot um, tell you guys how grateful, how thankful, how awesome you guys are all to me. And I really, really, truly, truly, truly appreciate it. Um, I unfortunately did not have much time to to shop. <laughs> I really didn't. I mean, my booth was, you know, it was it was always just people in and out, and um, I I rather be there meeting you guys and talking to you guys and um, buying, you know, orchids. <laughs> um, I just I just feel like you know I can I can probably get them because of all the shows that I that I go to, and I do have my eye on some for sure. That um, Patio Pedalum it uh this weekend it just it just blew my mind um the orange renanthra from from bernard from bl orchids was a dream i did um go 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 try to look for it um at the end when i was already picking up and he was sold out so uh hopefully he will have it available at boca i'm sure that i will see him um in many shows um because like i said boca is in a few weeks and we have fairchild gardens and um and then i want to go to vero beach I want to take kind of like a road trip so we'll see we'll see how that works so you guys this was my morning walk uh this was my orchid haul i cannot feel more blessed i cannot be more happy um i mean all the exhaustion that comes after doing these shows is so 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 worth it um i love what i do i love that i get to share with you guys my experience 
um, and that you can come with me to the show. So I appreciate all of your comments. I appreciate all of your watching and I love you all so much. Um, I will see you soon. Um, I have a few days off um, coming up and then um, I don't have a show this weekend. So, um, you know, I get to relax, hopefully um, spend some time in my garden, which I haven't. I promise you since like October, I haven't been out here really like just focusing on my yard and it really needs, it really, really needs some work. So um, that's it. Uh, this was um, today's video. I am so excited about this cat Leia, which I'm gonna go show it one more time. And this is how I'm gonna say bye because I'm happy and I'm gonna get another one because it has a beautiful bud. Um, so um, like I said, keep the comments coming. Um, I read them all. If I haven't answered um, is because I really haven't had a chance, but I will go in there and try to answer all of your questions. And my pretty girl, look at that. Even when they're neglected, they still bloom. This is why I love these um, these plants so much. I mean, look at that. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, guys, I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching and love you all. Bye-bye.